I have been I've been screaming to the mountaintops about him, about Donovan Mitchell's MVP case for a while. And for me, Donovan Mitchell deserves to be top two in that conversation. I think he's I think he's jumped over Shea or he's right there. Or, or and I certainly think he's up there with Jokic in that conversation. He's top three at the at a minimum. And I think you can make a case he's top two, depending on how you have it, you know, ordered. But I think he should win MVP. I think he's had a stronger case than, than even Jokic does, in my opinion. I think you got to look at the Darius Garland injury and the Mobley injury, and then in that stretch of games to go 18 and 2 isn't something ridiculous like that with him just playing out of his mind, just playing out of his mind night after night against great opponents, against the bad opponents, just beating who he's supposed to beat and then beating got teams that people didn't think they would beat. It was a combination of both kind of wins. He's his playmaking has gotten so much better. He's his reading his reads of the pick and roll is so much better than they were even a year ago. And he, he's just continued to ascend and get better and better. And it's a it's a shame um, that I, as good as they are, it's a shame that no one traded for him at the deadline to you know strengthen their odds of winning a championship because he is on another level right now. And he's a kind of guy. He's he's a kind of skill set that can fit on any team, right? But to answer the question and stay on topic, I could rave about Donovan Mitchell all day. I think he he legitimately has, in my opinion, he's the front runner for MVP. I know people will look at it like it's crazy, but I don't see how you could if you're paying attention to what's going on in Cleveland. Which, by the way, the reason why most of y'all going to disagree with what I'm saying is because y'all don't pay attention to what's going on in Cleveland. And I don't blame you. It's Cleveland. I understand. But, yo, he's out there playing great basketball, yo. I mean, he is, he is leading the charge over there. They were without Darius Garland for so long, months. And he and it was like they didn't miss a beat. They didn't miss a beat. And they're not that good. Like they're not that good of a team. It's it's him. If you took him off that roster, it's it's not the same level of production um at all. And, and it, you're not getting the same level amount of wins. So it, it's got he's gotta be MVP. He's the definition of it this year. And if they finish the year strong, I do think he'll win it. I do think he has a really strong case to win MVP this year, which is insane. And then we'll see how it affects his next contract and, if, and how it affects the trade negotiations because we all know he's not staying there. And so we'll see how it affects that stuff. But, um, yeah, I think long story short, I, I definitely respect his MVP case, and I think he's the number one guy, in my opinion, right now.